Act. Let's begin with the Methodist Church of Ghana, which has dissociated itself from a recent decision by its British church that could lead to its embarrassing same, embracing same-sex marriages. Speaking at a press conference in Accra, presiding Bishop Dr. Paul Boafo stated that Methodist Church in Ghana is autonomous and not bound by the votes by delegates at the conference in Birmingham. He says they will reject any decision that's not in conformity with its doctrinal teachings. Again in our liturgy, for marriage, we also describe it as a un we describe marriage as a union between one man and one woman. And when blessed with the gift of children, it becomes God's chosen way for the continuance of humanity and the bringing up of children in security and trust. Same-sex relationships are neither supported by biblical teaching, nor can the Bible's position be revised to support it. The Methodist Church Ghana rejects any revisionist interpretations of the Bible that seeks to make same-sex relationships permissible. We take these matters so seriously that, as Methodists, we often, we often take disciplinary action against unmarried couples who engage in sexual relations with some being temporarily excluded from fellowship if we have evidence. I want to state with some emphasis and also do so in no ambiguous terms that the Methodist Church Ghana it's an autonomous conference with its own leadership. We have been independent of the British Methodist Conference. Being an autonomous conference means that the Methodist Church Ghana is not, and I want to emphasize that, is not bound by the decisions of the British, nor any other conference anywhere. There are members of the Methodist Church Ghana worshipping with the church in the UK. Reverend Dr. Boafo indicates a decision will be made during its expanded General Purposes Council meeting in August. We are aware as a denomination that there are a lot of our members who worship in British Methodist churches and even Ghanaian Methodist ministers who serve under the British Conference with our permission. Let me say that come next month, which is August, when the church meets in our General Purposes, expanded General Purposes Council meeting, we will give directives regarding how those concerned members and ministers can carry on with their church and personal Christian activities in view of this decision because it is still under discussion. Speaking on the sidelines of the event, former presiding bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana, Most Reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante Enchi, says Christians and the church need to extend help to homosexuals. Look, there are people who are also cryptomaniacs. They feel like going to steal. But that doesn't make it good. The fact that you have that inclination doesn't mean that you have to be a practicing homosexual. You need to ask for help. And there are things that can, you know, I mean, in, in psychology and other things, you have people who can change sexual orientations by, they can help you to overcome that. Okay, so you don't just yield when you are tempted to do something and you haven't done it. It is not sin. It is only when you yield to the temptation to do what your urges are urging you that you commit it. So I would want to say that, and that's why we are saying we are not against homosexuals. We are against the practice of homosexuality. 
A homosexual person is like any other person who has problems. And as a church, it is our concern that we pray for such person, counsel that person, do the best that we can to help the person to come out of it. The only problem in this country is that because of our attitude towards them, people hide. Somebody has done a thesis for me, and you will be amazed to know that even in Accra here, there is a particular group of people who meet. It's happening. So we cannot claim that nothing is happening. It is happening. But we are pleading with Ghanaians, let's tolerate homosexuals as we seek to help them to come out of that kind of situation. And this is the position of the Methodist Church Ghana. We will never condone same-sex marriages, you know, lesbianism, homosexualism, and, you know, the people changing their sexes and all that, because we believe that it's not in keeping with the Word of God. That doesn't mean that people may not have that inclination, but we are saying that even if you have that inclination, there's a help. This book seeks to address all that. Please take time. They are giving you copies. Study it, study it carefully, and let us all join together not to condemn people who are practicing it, but to help them come out of this situation.